The Tony Award winning revival about equality and America's favorite pastime is rounding the bases for the last time on Broadway. Like Tony yeah. winner Jesse Tyler Ferguson and nominee Jesse Williams star in Take Me Out, now playing through February 5th. The play takes a swing at major topics like gender, race, and sexuality, all under the bright lights of professional baseball. There's even nude scenes. Really? Yes. Joining us now, one of the stars of the revival, Take Me Out, Tony Award winning winner, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. And it's great to have you back on the show. It's so good to see you. Good to see you, too. It's Prime Minister Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> yes. Mr. Prime Minister, yes. we thank you yes. so much. Yes, I like it. I'm handing out titles today. If you're like the uh, Mr. Ambassador, we can do that. Mr. I'll take President. All of them. Or how about a great going? Broadway actor? Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I'll take it. Well, let's. <laughs> let, let, let's start with Jonathan Lemire on set. Jonathan. Jesse, welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm not going to ask about the nude scenes. Um, <laughs> but I do want to ask you about this revival. It's, yeah. come, it's come back to Broadway uh, running through February 5th. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us what does that mean, that it's obviously made a connection to the audience, that the, the demand for people to come back. And also just tell us a little bit about what it is like uh, performing on Broadway right now at this moment in the pandemic. Sure. I mean, uh, the show did very well when it first was um, on Broadway uh, 20 years ago. And then the revival won a Tony Award for Best uh, Revival. And I won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor. And that all happened uh, the day after we closed the show. So we really wanted to, like, mm. give the show another shot for people who didn't have a chance to see it the first time. Um, so it's been great being on back on Broadway. The audiences that are coming are really wonderful. You know, I think that we're Broadway's still struggling to get back from the pandemic. and um, But Broadway is here and it's available for people. And, you know, we need we need those audiences there. So we're very grateful for the people that are coming. And, you know, please come see us before the fifth. You know, the I theme of the show, the string of the show, the storyline of the show gets to something that's embedded in professional sports in this country. Homophobia, uh, deeply, deeply closeted athletes. Mm -hmm. And to my knowledge, in Major League Baseball, Glenn Burke, former Dodger player, mm -hmm. uh, was outed while he was playing. Mm -hmm. And this story that you're a part of, talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this play deals with uh, with homophobia, deals with toxic masculinity, uh, it deals with uh, you know just locker room antics and. Uh, it's it's a, a play about relationships, really. It's, it's it, it, a lot of people think, oh gosh, I don't know a lot about baseball, and then they come see this play, and like, oh, I, I, this plays for everyone. It's for people who love baseball, for people who don't know a lot about baseball. It's about relationships, and it's about um, all these subjects that we just talked about. So it's it's a very important play, and it's a play that I think when it first happened 20 years ago, the playwright Richard Greenberg thought, okay, this is going to be a, a piece that will only work in this this moment because certainly this will all change very soon. And here we are, 20 years later, and the play is just as powerful. And poignant and uh, disturbing as it was 20 years ago. So, Jesse, um, I wanted to uh, ask you about your documentary, Broadway mm -hmm. Rising, which yeah. chronicles the um, Broadway community's experience through the COVID-19 shutdown and just how horrific it was on so many levels. Tell me what you set out to do uh, with Broadway Rising and yeah. what it turned out to be. Yeah, it's a, I'm super proud of Broadway Rising. It's um, it's a documentary about Broadway returning from COVID. And Amy Rice, the documentarian who is a friend of mine, approached me during uh, the pandemic saying, I want to do a documentary about Broadway returning. And I said, well, if we're going to do this, it really needs to be about the entire industry. It's not just the shows and, and the actors, but it's the dry cleaners up in the Bronx who clean the costumes. It's the doormen. Yeah. It's the restaurants in Times Square area. Uh, so many jobs were lost during the pandemic. So I really wanted to tell the story of that, that entire community. Um, and we were at Tribeca, and, you know, it's actually actually going to be available for streaming on the 27th of December, so you can watch it at home when you're home with, for the holidays. And it's a really, that. really beautiful film. Very proud of it. No, that, that looks amazing. And, you know, you do think of the people who whose lives were decimated. And, I mean, the Broadway Rise, and we'll take a look at that as well, but people who just disappeared. Right. Yeah. You know, because they literally had no... And, and so I'm so, so interested in seeing how that played out on Broadway because that was especially hard for all the people involved. It, it really was. How, how, are, how are things now? Do you really feel like... Is Broadway... Has Broadway come back to life or are there still some challenges ahead? 
No, there, there are definitely challenges. There are definitely bumps the, along the road. Um, you know, it, we are back. I mean, the theaters are open and people are coming, and that's really wonderful. Um, the numbers aren't where they were before, you know, COVID happened. But I think, you know, right. we're, we're, uh, there's an upward trajectory. So that, that's, that's nice. Okay. It. Well, it's really good to see you again. Uh, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Yeah, thank Take you. me out is now at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater in New York City through February 5th. Can, and can I say this? You can say it. Prime Minister and Tony Award winner. <laughs> Jesse Tyler, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Ferguson. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. for coming yes. on this morning. <laughs>